today, our lesson for today is all about multiplication and division of functions. In this video, students will be able to, number one, analyze the operation of functions. Number two, perform the multiplication and division of functions. And lastly, we need to appreciate the importance of operation of functions. Let f and g be functions of the variable x. The product function f times g is the function defined fg of x is equivalent to f of x times g of x. That will be the product function or in applying the multiplications of functions. While in division or dividing functions, is the quotient function f over g is the function defined by f divided by g of x is equal to f of x over g of x where the g of x is not equal to 0. Because if the g of x is equal to 0, that will be undefined. Let us have an example number 1. Let f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 1 and g of x is equal to 5x minus 2. Find the product of f and g of x is equal to f of x times g of x is equal to the function of f of x is 3x squared plus 1 while the function of g of x is 5x minus 2. Again, in multiplying a functions, we need to apply the FOIL method. So, 3x squared times 5x is 3 times 5 is 15 and x squared times x is x cubed. You need to add the exponent of your variables. Next, 3x squared times negative 2 is negative 6x squared and positive 1 times positive 5x is positive 5x. Positive 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. This is the final answer of the product of f and g of x. Another, find f over g of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x. Again, the function of f of x is 3x squared plus 1 over the function of g of x is 5x minus 2. If you can see, we cannot cancel out, we cannot divide, we cannot factor out both the function of f of x and g of x. That's why this is the final answer. Another example. Let f of x is equal to x squared minus 1 and g of x is equal to x plus 1. Find the product of f and g of x and f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. Again, the function of your f of x is x squared minus 1. Well, the function of your g of x is x plus 1. Apply again the FOIL method. So, x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 1 is positive x squared. Negative 1 times positive x is negative x. And negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. That's why this is the final answer, the product of f and g. How about find f over g of x or f divided by g of x is equal to f of x over g of x. Equal, again, the function of f of x is x squared minus 1 over the function of the g of x is x plus 1. If you can see, we can factor out 
x squared minus 1 by x plus 1 and x minus 1 over x plus 1. So cancel, cancel. So the answer is x minus 1. So this is the quotient of fn g of x. Example number 3. Let f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 4 and g of x is equal to x minus 1. Find f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x where the function of f of x is x squared minus 5x plus 4 while the function of g of x is x minus 1. Multiply x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times negative 1 is negative x squared. Negative 5x times positive x is negative 5x squared. Negative 5x times negative 1 is positive 5x. Positive 4 times x is positive 4x. Positive 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Then after that, combine similar terms. Bring down x cubed because they don't have similar terms. And x squared and 5x squared, they are similar terms. So you need to add because they have same sign. So remember, they have a constant here, 1. So, 1 plus 5 is negative 6x squared. Positive 4x and positive 5x is positive 9x and bring down negative 4. So, that will be the final answer. Another, find f divided by g of x is equal to f of x over g of x. The function again of f of x is x squared minus 5x plus 4 over the function of g of x is x minus 1. Again, apply the factoring of your numerator to cancel the x minus 1. So, x, x, and then your negative 5 is positive 5. And this is negative 1 over x minus 1. Cancel, cancel. So the answer is x plus 5. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share and comment and subscribe to Teacher Ren TV. Thank you.